This is uh, Prakash and Venkat. Uh, we are from CollabNet. Um, so next 10, uh, 15 to uh, 30 minutes, you know, so we are uh, going to, you know, so showcase our solution. So one of the industry leading uh, solution from CollabNet is, uh, you know, so TeamForge. Uh, I will just, you know, so highlight the key capabilities of TeamForge, you know, so before getting into the demo. Uh, TeamForge is an um, uh, application lifecycle management platform for uh, distributed teams a single environment to connect, collaborate, and develop uh, globally. Uh, what TeamForge offers is, you know, so you can uh, do your uh, project plan, you can do your requirement gathering, you can do, uh, uh, you know, the uh, configuration management, change management, build automation, deployment, collaboration, dashboarding, reporting, you know. So all these uh, component is uh, embedded in a one single platform. So what I'm going to do is, you know, so uh, I will uh, showcase the product, you know, so in uh, 15 minutes. So the moment when you log in to TeamForge, you know, so it will take you to your project work phase. So wherein uh, you will be able to see, you know, so what are the items that are assigned to you, what are the items that are uh, created by you. And if you are in an approval role, you know, so it will be showing, you know, so what are the items that are required for your approval. And uh, what are the recent projects that you are uh, visited and uh, you know, so all those information that you get to know in your project workspace. This is not only limited to a project, you know, so project you are across the project, you know, so you are uh, belongs to what are the project, those information you are going to visible there. So the moment, you know, so when you go to your specific project, you know, so you should be uh, able to see the project page wherein, uh, as I said, you know, so you can plan, code, build, test, release, deploy, and operate. It's a single platform for, you know, so your entire application lifecycle management plus DevOps. So, uh, uh, CollabNet is the only company, you know, so covers all the three mega trends in the IT. So, one is Agile ILM and as well as uh, Cloud and as well as, you know, so your uh, 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 DevOps. So, the moment, you know, so when you log in into the project, uh, you know, so uh, you, you can do your uh, uh, plan. So this is what the plan view. So where you can capture your uh, stories, you can capture your epics, you can capture your uh, defects, everything. And, you know, so you can plan very well for your project. You know, so it's a dynamic planning wherein, uh, you know, the moment when you uh, capture your, you know, so product backlog and then derive to a release backlog and a sprint backlog. So you should be able to see, you know, so switch over between the artifacts from one iteration to another iteration. I mean, the one sprint to another sprint. So also, you know, so we have a capability, sorry, uh, we, we have capability of, uh, you know, looking at your uh, uh, iterations, you know, in a planning board where, you know, so you can drag and drop mechanism. So you can prioritize your uh, work items. And uh, once, you know, so you are done with that, uh, you know, so you can probably go back to your code and, you know, so develop your software. So we are the only vendor supports, you know, so hybrid uh, SEM. You know, so if your project demands uh, either your uh, subversion or a gate or uh, purpose, you know, so you can use all of them for your project, you know, so which is required for a source, uh, source code management. So assume the case, you know, so you are working on some of the task and then, uh, you know, uh, you wanted to ask for a code review. Then, you know, so we have an integrations with uh, a review board wherein you can request for a code review and then once the code is reviewed by your manager, then, you know, so once if you say ship it, so it will automatically commit those changes to our uh, source code. So once if your uh, code is reviewed and then, you know, so you can go back and uh, uh, do your continuous integrations with Jenkins. So we, we have integrations with Jenkins and as well as Edson. The moment when you commit a code, you know, so if you uh, configure the Jenkins and it will pull the uh, uh, code commit. So once, you know, so it will uh, uh, pull the commit and, you know, so it will create a build and, uh, you know, so the output of the build looks like this, you know, so uh, while uh, committing, while, once the commit is done, you know, so it will use either if it is a uh, Eclipse based development, it use uh, Maven for your build and then, you know, so it uses J unit for your uh, testing some of those test cases and it uses sonar for your, uh, you know, so functional testing. So internally it does all those things. And once the uh, build is done, you know, so if, if the build is successful, you know, so it will upload it into your uh, file releases. This is one of the key capability wherein, so you have a, um, you know, path where you can see all your uh, deliverables in a one go. 
and the advantage here is you know so what was planned in this particular release and what was fixed and what was uh, associated in this uh, release you know so to derive uh, that particular uh, you know executables and we we have a collaboration tools like uh, you know so wikis documents and as well as discussion forum where you can invite people to discuss about some of your uh, task so that you can capture all those information and you can associate it back to your uh, artifacts and um, you know so once the deploy i mean once the build is done you know so you can deploy into your uh, you know application server so in which case you know so i am using a tomcat and you know so i am deploy to my tomcat server locally in my laptop so this is what you know so we have uh, deployed in that so as i mentioned uh, you know so we 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 have a capability of orchestrating where you can connect uh, various point products within the tool and then you know so you can uh, uh, derive your uh, you know so delivery pipes so which means to say that say for example you know so for this particular work item you know so what are the commit happens so it will take you all those commits and what was the build and what was the commit and if you uh, incorporate your review commits also you know so review code uh, request all will be there in a one central location so we are the only vendor you know so supports elm 2.0 uh, with this capability and um, moving on to the next thing you know so as i mentioned you know so we not only concentrate on the elm part we also concentrate on the deployment part so we have a flagship product uh, with uh, ctf you know so either you can use with the uh, chef chef is uh, you know a open source release automation tool wherein you can uh, deploy to your you know so various uh, uh, target nodes uh, this this you know so uh, really covers the entire uh, ELM and as well as uh, deployment part. So that's our uh, capability and you know so strength of our uh, product. You know so I just you know so have all those slides uh, captured. I mean all those uh, pages captured here. You know so to cover up you know so from one workflow. So if you have any questions. See, TFS is actually a, another ELM product, you know, so if it's predominantly focuses on your, uh, you know, uh, Visual Studio MSDN licenses, right? So if you buy MSDN licenses, it will be there. But, you know, so uh, CTF and as well as TFS is uh, both are, uh, you know, same. But our advantage is, you know, so we support on the cross platform, you know, so if your development environment is on .NET, our, uh, you know, uh, uh, or uh, you know eclipse so we support both so tfs is only limited to an you know so visual studio kind of an application you have plugin for uh, .NET studio yeah. where somebody uh, or as well as eclipse if you commit a code you can add a comment it will la la land up in our system automatically you don't See, have to uh, log in yeah. here or there so what venkat is trying to tell you is you know so microsoft works very well with only that uh, .NET uh, environment and you know so if your development environment is on java right i'm just opening my eclipse platform wherein so all the functionalities of uh, ctf will be in uh, same id itself so we ourselves is not limit to a you know so only one development platform so we are a you know so cross platform uh, vendor you can also have uh, add on for uh, microsoft project if somebody sends you an email of a requirement a click of a button you can convert that into a story or a task and it will land up into our system so there are a lot of add-on. There's also integration for MS project, integration for uh, Jira. Yep, we, we have a lot of, uh, you know, so uh, integrations with, uh, uh, with our solution. Okay, so as I mentioned, you know, so we are the only vendor provides of uh, ALM 2.0. Our theme is collaboration and as well as federating ALM, you know, so we don't care, you know, so either you use Jira or use that, you know, you can plug in easily to in our solution and, you know, so have an end-to-end -end traceability like this. So this is just to showcase an example, you know, so whatever I showcase in the tool, you know, so everything is incorporated uh, uh, within the same ID. You need not to switch between the different IDs, you know, so to perform your day-to-day uh, -day task. So if I go back to my thing, you know, so uh, this is what, you know, so I was uh, trying to emphasize the fact that uh, we, we, we are the only vendor, you know, so provide the connectivity between your uh, various tool chain. Okay, so we, uh, our approach is, you know, so federation. So if your uh, uh, engineering team or if your development team is on multiple uh, tool chain, 
you know, so you can get them into our uh, environment and, you know, so you can plug in and then you can develop your applications. And uh, there's also a CollabNet uh, connector framework where you can uh, integrate with your own legacy application by calling uh, some of the APIs we have. So some of, we also have HPQC integration. Uh, yeah. Like, what, do you have any uh, corporate social uh, social media integration with CollabNet or integration with any other corporate social media applications like Jive? Uh, come again in your question, please. Corporate social media like Jive? No, no, we don't have. No. But see, uh, let me, you know, so um, uh, put a point here that, you know, so uh, our technology is an open platform. You know, so you can, we expose us all the APIs, you know, so if you wanted to get connected to your in-house product or any other uh, applications, you can easily get into a team for the environment. So that's our strength in the product. Okay. Do you have Q&A feature, like question answer, like somebody can post a question and... That's what, so what we do is, you know, so we capture them in a discussion forum. So the moment when you navigate it to a discussion, you know, so you can create a discussions, you know, so it could be your, uh, any general forum. So you so can you capture can them, it. and then the advantage here is, you know, so you also you can associate your uh, discussion topic to your, uh, 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 you know, so any of the work item that you have created. It could be a requirement, or it could be a task, or it could be, you know, so in agile term, if you call as a story, you can, you know, so uh, associate that as well. So it will send you an email when somebody communicates or discuss within those forums. Yeah. You will get an email notification. I have another additional thing is, if you want to use a q and it's open source, which has like question and answer, there are a couple of open source. We have a feature called link tap, where you can link any other application and use our app as a single sign-on and you can on the fly create a button here. Yeah. So for example, if you want to have Google Calendar, you can um, create a button here, Google Calendar, and have your Google account linked. And then you just log into our application, automatically it does underneath connect to Google Calendar or whatever you want to do. Okay. Yeah. So Either, sure, one of yeah. the customers using Q&A open source product uh, as well as a linked app. Yeah. Either you can use your integrated app or else, you know, so as Venkat mentioned, you know, so you can use it as a linked app. So you can choose either you want it to bring that interface into the top platform or else, you know, so you want it to have a tighter integrations with the product itself. So uh, when we say integration, it is like what Jenkins are. Yeah, exactly. Review board, where is it? Yeah, yeah like this. Board. This is actually the bottom part is directly coming from review board. Review board. Okay. Any other question? Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity to showcase our uh, solution. Thanks. And if you guys need uh, brochures, you yeah. Know, if you need more information, you can reach me at uh, you know so prakashes uh, collab dot net, and uh, this is my mobile number. So wherein you know, so if you wanted to uh, evaluate the solutions for your uh, uh, development, you can reach out to us. So we have uh, both the licenses. Uh, one is uh, subscription, and as well as uh, perpetual licenses. So I mean, uh, you can. It's an it's based on the users. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy and install it yourself, or we also have a dedicated server in our data center for customers. Or you can use. It's a, a cloud. hosted environment. Yeah. Or you can use the cloud. Exactly. And you can also sign up for cloud for free. I think you get few products, few projects. Yeah. You can try it out for 10, 20 users. Is it taking? 